Is that good? <laughs> Welcome back to another video of running with Juan and Edgar. Except this time, we're not actually running in the video. But we will talk about running, so... Eventually. You know, so this video will be focused on the gear that we will be using and the nutrition for the race that's coming up in just one week. Um, so the race that we are running is the Austin Half Marathon that's taking place on February 16th. Uh, we are trying to break in one hour and 30 minutes and the additional goal for this race, we're trying to raise money for the Dream Scholarship Fund and this scholarship will be awarded to a deserving undocumented student who is pursuing a graduate degree or is already enrolled in a graduate degree. So let's start off with the probably the most essential part of running this race and that is Ready, ready to say it at the same time? Three, two, one. The shoes. <laughs> no, um, let's start off with the shoes. Okay. Um, so, uh, I'll be running in the Clifton uh, Ones by Hoka. These are actually a re-release of the original Cliftons from a while ago. And I'll actually ha have a um, Clifton uh, one review after we run the race. So, but we put in a lot of good miles into these shoes. I have mostly positive things to say. These are the Clifton ones. What shoe are you running in? Or shoes, I guess, because one is like a running expert now. Yeah, right. Well, I got the Hoka. What are these? Bondi six. The Bondi six. Uh, that's the most plush uh, Hoka that they have. No, like the one yeah, with the most cushioning. Yeah, as you can tell, all this. This thickness underneath. I bought these shortly after we went to the San Antonio Rock and Roll Marathon Expo. And Edgar had tried on a pair because he said he was going to switch from Brooks, the Brook Levitates, yeah. um, to something more cushioned. Because we're going to be running more, more miles. Yeah. They've been working really well for me. I haven't had any complaints as far as um, my knees hurting or anything like that. They do at sometimes feel look a little like bit. Look like tortas. Yeah, they look <laughs> from a top view. They look really wide, but they're not as they don't feel heavy yeah. as maybe you might think because they have so yeah. much padding. Yeah, so. for as big as they look, they're actually one of the lightest running shoes that I've had. And then we were when we ran our 16 miles in Austin. Yeah. We stopped at uh, Tyler's, which is a store there, and they had these which are the Clifton 3s, no the Clifton 5s. So this is the Clifton 1s, and then those are the 5. And they have, you can notice that they have a lot less padding, but they don't feel like they're lacking any padding. And I bought these, I wasn't going to the store to buy shoes, but they were at such a good price. They were originally 130, they were marked down to 80 with an extra 20%, so I got a really good deal off of them. I've been using them for some of our track workouts on Wednesdays, and I think for race day I'm going to go ahead and use these. So, Clifton team. The Clifton team. Moving on to some of the stuff that we'll be wearing. Uh, I'll be running in some Under Armour, I think they're 5 inch uh, shorts. I've worn these all throughout this training program. Hasn't washed them. Yeah, gotta keep that the lucky juice. Not the, ju <laughs> <laughs> the lucky juice. The lucky juices for race day, so it's. Did we break something? No, I don't know what that was, but yeah, so I don't know if these have any other like name, but. They are running shorts by Under Armour with the pocket in the back. I hardly ever use it. Um, they like got ventilation on the side, uh, so they've—I mean—they've worked for me. So those are the shorts I'll be running in. I'll be running in this uh, racing bib jersey or whatever you want to call it. It's by Nike, uh, running, um, and it's really comfortable. I think it will get the job done. And then the last thing I'll be wearing is this uh, running hat by St. Jude's. Uh, a couple years ago I ran a uh, full marathon and I fundraised for them and they gave me this running hat which has been my favorite because of the paneling on top. It's just so comfortable uh, and I haven't found another hat 
that is as comfortable uh, as this. You can already tell that it's like, tearing. So I was going to wear this um, just black um, Under Armour shirt, tee on the back. It, it's like a, a breathable. And uh, these Nike running shorts that I've been running in. But I wanted a like a sleeveless, kind of like what Edgar's going to be wearing. Shirt, sleeveless shirt. No. Uh, and then, uh, so I went ahead and I bought a Nike sleeveless and I saw the shorts thick. I felt matched with it so I went ahead and bought some yeah. some Nike shorts as well. But oh dude these are large. You got the wrong ones? I think so. You're like oh I want the medium. But I tried them on. Oh you tried those on? Yeah. And they fit? Yeah. <laughs> okay, then you're good. Okay. okay. I have my Oh yeah, didn't show me. My handy dandy flip belt. I'll probably I'm not sure if I'll wear my flip belt just because what I usually use it for is my keys that I attach to this and then for my phone, but for the race day I won't be you needing won't either of those. Um, so I might not even wear my flip belt for the race day. You wanna show them your, your new water bottle? So the one that I forgot. We have a Nathan, Nathan. brand uh, water bottle. This is a 12 ounce, Edgar has a 16 ounce. Yeah. Here it is. It has a pocket here. That's where you're going to put your shoes? Yeah, so I, that's why I don't think we need the, the flip belt. That has space. Our, our shorts have space. And then you put your, let me demonstrate, you put your hand through here. Dude, this is tight. Yeah. Are you sure you get the little kids one? <laughs> well, I, I know <laughs> for sure it won't slip. We don't think we'll be stopping at the water stations. We're just gonna go ahead and run with our own water um, and electrolytes. Uh, so we'll get into that next. So for me, in race day nutrition, um, I'll be doing the cliff shot blocks. There. Just the other day, I came across this flavor. It's the watermelon with added sodium. I really like these. I'll be taking probably one right before the race starts, and then I'll be taking uh, one every two to three miles as I feel I need it. Yeah, I got the same thing. Uh, and then I'll have some, some noon as well. This is the strawberry lemonade. Strawberry lemonade, noon. And Juan just got some as well. He got the watermelon. The watermelon flavor. And then I was, I forgot to show, I'll be running in features. I think these are the best running socks out there. I've had these for like a good two or three years. I only use them for running, but they're super comfortable. I get the high cushion one and they really help prevent blisters. I'll be running in these. <laughs> are you serious? Wait, which ones? Yeah. Those? Yep. Oh, those are by an artist, right? Mm-hmm. Don't ask me who. Van Gogh. I'll be running in some uh, Under Armour compression socks that I've been using. I like them because there's not a lot of, uh, yeah, they don't move around. They don't allow my foot to move around, so there's no friction. So that's what we're doing. We're running a half marathon. But yeah, stay tuned for, for a video where we recap the race. All right, now we are gonna get a cool thumbnail where all our gear set up on the floor and we just show exactly what we're doing. What we're do. Yeah. So let's let's do that. On, on the short side. Wow. A ver si no me caigo. I'll grab you. This is what I have to do. This is the setup that we have going on to get an aerial shot of the view. Okay. Survived. <clears throat> Make sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. I know what channels. I don't know. So working on an outro, so any suggestions, comment down. That's a wrap. Ladies and gentlemen, we just had two games. We are tied at one and one. 
I won the first one, Edgar just won the, the second one. And this last one is for our post-race meal. Ooh. One is stripes. Look at the focus on Juan's face. You can see the veins in my face. It's come down to these last few moves. <laughs> but the people aren't gonna see the shot. Look, look at that. <laughs> Strike! <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on him because I'm broke till next month. <laughs> <laughs>